Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick that uh, we've learned a while back when uh, autofill just wasn't working on Safari. So um, I'll go. I'll just jump right into an example. This is actually uh, suggested to us multiple times, but uh, one of our uh, Mac Helper members, uh, Dan Burke, actually taught or kind of gave us a tipping point of when we should finally do this. So let's go ahead and open up one that I know for sure uh, doesn't work. So let me go to whoops. So right now it's Denver water. So this is just my main thing. So I'm sure you've had the same problem. You click on it and it doesn't ask you to autofill. I have no idea what my what my account number is for my water bill. Uh, I don't even know what my customer ID number is. So this is one of those times when I have to go back to my notes or wherever I've got it secretly hidden down, written down. So the biggest thing is there's got to be a way to change that. So let's look at a different website. Let's just go to hit done there. Let's go. So then there's other websites like this. Essentialized showing. I'm also a real estate agent, but it's already got stuff already pre-populated. I click on another box. Bam! It autofills my password. Um, so that's all websites should work like that. But the, the the problem is not all of them do. So what we've done at Mac Helpers, we've created a little uh, video on how you can kind of cheat the system here. So go into your settings, then go under general. And then scroll down to keyboard. So I'm sure you've gone into here and you've gone under under Safari and you probably have changed your autofill features. Where is it at right here? And you've done your password autofills and all that kind of stuff, but it still doesn't work on some sites. So this is what's going to solve that. Go back to general, then go to keyboard. So keyboard, so now you can click on shortcuts. I've already got a couple on here. So you see how it says right here on the left, INST? That's for another email that I use that's not my regular email. Then another one down here that I've created is, is PLE. So let me show you how that works. So this was just something that I always type in emails and I was just sick of typing all that out each time I'm sending an email. So check this out. Let's go under notes. All I've done, this is just a regular notes app. So I went into here. Now let's I'll show you how that works. So remember that first one was INST. So look what happens when I type that out, INST. It's going to give you that auto population right there. So just hit space bar. Occasionally, you might have to hit the delete button. There's some websites that are finicky if there's a space in there. Um, but for the most part, you should be fine. Now let's look at the other one. So the other one was PLE. Bam, I hit space bar again. And look how it just typed that whole sentence to me. And all I did was type in three letters. So you can go like, so let's go back. I'm just going to multitask here real quick and go back to shortcuts. So let's go hit the plus sign. And let's say... Um, for another email, I, let's say I wanted to do, okay, I'll just use um, Troy at Mac Helpers. So this is another email I use all the time. So if I just type in Tro, or actually, Troy at your Mac Helpers, oops, dot com, and I'll make the shortcut TRO, and I hit save. So now look right there, it says TRO. Now let's go back here and let's test it out. So if I just type in TRO, bam, spacebar, it's done. Okay, cool, so that's basically it for how to do, how to get the autofill to work properly. I know this is not the exact way how Apple pictured it, but sometimes you gotta do a little makeshift things. So this works great for phrases, names, passwords, all those different things that you may use. I don't really recommend using it for passwords, but uh, there you have it. There's a quick way to get autofill to work on all your websites and have a little uh, extra tricks in terms of sending emails, sending quick phrases, all that good stuff. So if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to us on Facebook, your Mac Helpers, or I'm sorry, facebook.com slash Mac Helpers, or go to our website, yourmachelpers.com, and ask us some questions there. Thanks, guys.